hey what's up so i get around on a bike this bike that i'm showing in the video i found in another city i was in one of these midwest cities right i went out there like with this slow paced mentality i'm just on foot i land and i'm in the city for like not even an hour and a half an hour i go to the brewery and you know right away smack right in front of you is a couple of abandoned buildings a little buzz doing a little exploring that's like the best feeling keep in mind this is the midwest there's no one around so this dude just like comes out of nowhere he, he didn't have like a backpack on he just kind of like he looked like a landscaper like some dude was like mowing a lawn or whatever. He had like these sunglasses, the boots, dirty, dirty clothes. And I was like, what's up, man? Like, what are you doing? And he said, hey, I'm just exploring. And I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, me too. And we're both like looking at this hole in the fence to get in this building. But right outside the building was this bike and it had no seat on it, but it was like this dope bike. And here I am, I'm like, you know what? This bike is like the answer to me being where I am right now. I could just like accomplish so much more than just walking around or he eventually goes in the building and i'm like i'm not going to the building with this dude I, this dude looks kind of crazy I, I pick up the bike and i took off on the bike so the thing with the bike is it had no seat and the, the handlebars were kind of like nasty the grips on the and uh so i look up on my phone like bike shop there was a bike shop like a mile and a half away and i'm like i jumped on the bike keep in mind i had a couple of beers in me and i'm not used to the the flow of this bike how, how it pedals and uh I, I think i was on it for like two and a half minutes and i flipped over the handlebars i hit like a bump or something and i remember all i remember was like the handlebars going into my sh my side i thought i ruptured something and my shoulders hitting the concrete i shook it off i, I was a little stuck a little shaken up when stuff like that happens the pain doesn't doesn't settle in right away and i got back on the bike and it has no seat the bike so i'm standing up and i'm pedaling five minutes later i did the same thing again i flipped over the handlebars by my ribs and the handlebars are on my ribs and i'm like oh man but yeah, I ended up making it to the um, bike shop. I was all scraped up. My legs were bleeding. I, I walked into this bike shop. I'm like, listen, man, give me a new seat. And I'm just like, all I wanted to use was this bathroom and like wipe up my legs were like bleeding. <laughs> and he like gave me some new handle grips. And this is the bike I'm riding today, almost a year now. Rite of passage uh, initiation. So I'm gonna try to do like an edit about the graffiti hall of fame in harlem the famous graffiti of hall of fame 106 in park i've been going there since early 2000s and around 2012 i did a video just clips i'm showing you right now it's like i don't know you know i just took some video i didn't really have a plan for it i wasn't uploading it to youtube but yeah some good memories um, every you know every year or so every couple years they redo the Hall of Fame at one point they completely revamped the entire schoolyard so that's that was when things kind of changed before that it was kind of just like this grimy kind of schoolyard with like tag old tags all over the ground now that there's like a running track and it's, kind of, it's very maintained it's, it's locked up most of the time you can only get in there on weekends now if you're lucky because they they keep the gate locked and they they actually have hush hip-hop tours which is a paid tour you know it's educational i don't know i've never done it but respect to them and that's basically what the yard is used for now yeah you got quick painting that was rare to see i forget what year that was you got Titch, Ivory. I mean, I was there when Desi Des K. Slay was painting. That's like really legendary when he would come out. He's one of like the first generation writers that painted the Hall of Fame. You got Crook, TFB, famous hand style. Tats crew did the outside of the, the schoolyard every year. They, or whenever they have the events there, he does. They do the outside nicer. BG one eighty three bio. Actually, I forgot to to video the current wall on the outside of the schoolyard. I'm not gonna lie. When I went to go visit it this time.
knock 167. That was rare when he painted Titch. That's rare. You don't really see him painting anymore. Ivory was there. Who's up there? That's Vase. Kurz. I think that's Kurz. Yeah, that's rare to see. King B. And Clark Fly ID. Yeah, this was this was a good year. Forget what the theme of, of this all maybe who's in the background there I can't tell. There's flight flight to TDS. That was cool to see that guy painting. Part. We got King B. Germs, Rocksteady Crew. Now I'm going to show you the current state of the walls. 2024, actually 2023. This was done last summer. I wonder, I don't know, this summer they're going to redo the walls again. That's why I wanted to get there. I made it there recently. The Hecht head piece is dope, I'm not going to lie. He does a lot of like, you know, cutesy street art now. You know, got to pay the bills. But yeah, that, that's a nice piece. He should paint more like that. Not familiar with the 3D, but that's a nice piece. That's who that 3D writer is. It's another dope 3D piece. I'm glad to see that's just cool. Not familiar with this writer, but that's a nice piece. I know, I know that these guys. I see them up on the freights. The pirate, pirate tribe, PT. I want to say that spoke. It's Spoke and Kello. I see them up on the freights. Shame125. I see his tags around Harlem still to this day. The original MSK, Manhattan Subway Kings. A SAC MBT. Yeah, I like that Kello piece. It's cool. Really, really slept on uh, New York City writer. You don't really see hyped up as much as a lot of other writers. You see you constantly being repeated. You know, these guys, they paint a lot and they do a lot of good spots. Really dope original styles. Nice characters too. Got Serve, FBA, Death Squad, TDS. Tribute to DJ K Slay. Does he does? It's a really nice little portrait there with the turntable and the train. That's cool. The letters are on point. Piece. The original Trap OTB. That's another guy. He's been painting a lot, and not a lot of people have been taking pictures of his stuff. I saw a bunch of other walls he did recently, and it's like a weird style, but it's like you could tell, like we. You're like, what is that? And then you're like, that's the original trap from Star Wars. You got Scheme. The famous uh, Solid One TFP. We did two whole cars. That's the famous quote from Star Wars. What'd you do last night? We did um, two whole cars. It was me, Dez, and me three, right? And on the first car, in small letters, it said, all you see is, and then, you know, big, big, you know, black silver letters that said, crime in the city, right? It just took up the whole yeah, car. Yeah, it, it was a whole car and shit. Then it was a, you know, a scroll, like, you no know, one of those scrolls. Sharp. 
That guy's got a lot of history. You got Shiro. And Tony164. This guy's got a lot of tags. And Dome. Dome with the Phase 2 shout out. The guy had a whole spread in Phase 2's book on uh, the art of getting over. Style writing from the underground. Pieces are ill. This guy's been painting a lot too. 